In this episode, we want to talk about the answer network. So let's go to Activity Wizard. And now Activity Wizard is asking me, do I want to use the current network as the answer network? If I want to do so, I can click yes, and that would be a good idea. And this network would be copied to my answer network. If I click no, then this network will be destroyed. Especially if I have not saved it, then this network will definitely go away and I will have the ability to create a new answer network. For the time being, I want to say yes because I want this network as my answer network. Here I have opened Activity Wizard. Let's go to Answer Network and let's go and show our answer networks. You can see that this is my answer network, Activity Wizard Answer Network, and this network is my answer network for the time being. Let's go back to Activity Wizard. I also have the ability to import an answer network from a file. So if I click on here, I will be able to import a PKT file. And if I use a PKT file as my answer network, that PKT file can be imported. And the same way it can be exported. I, if I have a currently created answer network, I can export it to a PKT file. And in here, I have the assessment tree that based on the assessment tree, I will mark the elements of the network on which I want to assess the students. We will talk about assessment tree later on in this series. But as I said before, if I'm not happy with my answer network and I want to bring some changes, then I can definitely always do that. Maybe I want to add a router. Now I have added a router and if I go to my activity wizard, the router has appeared and it has become part of the answer network. And that's it for this episode. See you in the next ones where I will be discussing activity wizard in very more depth. Stay tuned.